Hey, welcome back to another episode on our new series, Pro Tips to Live a Dynamic Lifestyle. If you're new to this show, you definitely want to stay for this because we're dropping them every single day and we're giving you guys tips from literally experts and legit pro tips on how to live a dynamic lifestyle, especially in this pandemic and new circumstances and landscape that we're facing. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe below. Other than that, get ready for this next one. All right, Tony Jet Lacour, how you doing hello. today? Hello, hello, fellas. It's hey, been man. a while since we crossed paths. Yeah, I know, it's right? catch up. Yeah, yes. it's been it's been like a year since we both spoke at uh, that yeah. conference back in San yeah. Jose. So yep. good to see your face, man. Yeah, I like yeah. the beanie, all that stuff. Yeah, it's still it's still somewhat cold here. So I I usually tell people that it doesn't come off until it's consistently 65, 70. So um, it stays on. <laughs> right on, right on. Yeah. Well, Tony, man, I appreciate your time, you know, just coming on this, uh, you know, this pro tip uh, series on how to live a dynamic lifestyle through all this stuff that's going on with the COVID, the pandemic, uh, quarantine. So uh, let's, let's dig into it. So how, sure. how are you dealing with this? I like, just personally, I know you have a family as well, too. And more importantly, like, what are some like tips and steps that you could just give to like the listener that is like struggling or, you know, even possibly to reinvent themselves during this time? Yeah, so me personally, uh, much like you guys, I, I'm very low key, even keeled. Uh, I kind of take it, I'm not a planner. Like I, I'm not someone that like thinks like weeks, months, years ahead, or uh, that's just not how I roll. So I, I am quite literally taking this day by day. <laughs> uh, I, I felt, I, I feel like I've pivoted as best I can. I feel like, um, my career I've done, uh, has helped me do that. And in terms of like, you know, I, I'm a little bit in an online space. Obviously I coach people in person. I do writing. I have products out there. Um, like many fitness professionals, I've taken a, a massive financial hit uh, during this time. But what's nice is I, I do have ways of making other revenue uh, because I, I kind of have my, my, my toes dipped in several puddles, which has been nice. Um, I will say that... Uh, uh, as much as I've done online training in, in the past, uh, virtual training is, is not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> uh, uh, it's definitely been, a, it, I will say it's definitely a testament to how well you can cue exercises and how, how good you are as a coach. So I think the coaches that are, 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 are good in quotations are, are getting that test, uh, coaching people virtually. Um, you know, and again, it's just not, it's not my favorite thing to do. I'm just, I'm much more comfortable coaching people in person. I do feel like that, that community and that, that in-person vibe, not to mention the tactile feedback you can give and, you know, and the music and uh, being surrounded by other people training yeah. hard. I mean, there, that, that you can't, you can't match that online, yeah. but you know, it is what it is right now. So I'm doing a little bit of that. Um, certainly trying to use this as an opportunity to catch up on side projects that I, I said I was going to do, but then I've been put off for two, three, five years. <laughs> uh, so doing a little bit of that. And then honestly, you know, spending a little extra time with my family doesn't suck. So yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's my wife, it's my three-year-old. Yes. I think any parent can commiserate and have having a toddler at home all day sucks. <laughs> but, but it's been, it's been great. Like, you know, I, I, I cannot sit here and say that, uh, uh, I think badly of the time that we're spending together doing lightsaber battles and reading books. And, you know, he goes, I mean, thankfully my, my studio is a mile from my apartment here. Oh, in Boston. Nice. Um, and my wife and I are still using it. It's only us using it. So we, we feel no issues going back and forth. And that's really what we're going back and forth from is that in the store. Um, and most of the time he's coming with us and we'll just put on Spider-Verse and she and I are still able to train somewhat yeah. aggressively uh, compared to a lot of people in, uh, who are kind of sequestered in their, in their uh, living rooms with bands and maybe kettlebells. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, you know, I'm just kind of rolling with the punches. I, I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not a planner. So uh, I'm just kind of waiting it out like everyone else and, and hopefully it, it ends sooner rather than later. Yeah, sure. absolutely. I appreciate you sharing that. And I want to go back to what you said that like you have basically your, your toes in different ponds, like different revenue streams. So yeah. is that something you'd advocate to like maybe the fitness professional that's listening right now and is feeling this like really, really pandemic just hit them really hard and just kind of like they lost hope and confidence? 
Yeah, I think uh, if anything, this has been a nice reminder that it's nice to be a little bit more diversified in your talents. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, to me, like I, I, using myself as an example, I, I hate being on camera. Uh, I don't like, for, I don't like doing YouTube videos. Like, yes, I do them, but it's not my favorite. Like I'm much more comfortable. I'm an introvert. I like writing. I'm good at writing. I just stick to what I'm good at. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I think this has been a nice reminder to people that, you know, I think it's smart to be a little bit online, you know, training people online. I think it's smart to be coaching people in person because obviously that's, you know, and if you're, you're able to do workshops and seminars, that's great too. And if you're able to produce content and, and resources, that's great too. Um, you know, cause I think, you know, as much as we made fun of the people months ago and every time Instagram went down, we make fun of everyone, oh, Instagram down, what, what are the influencers going to do? You know, they're kind of laughing at us now. It's like, oh, well, not that they're laughing at the pandemic, uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's just a reminder that I think it's nice to, it, I, I would encourage and, and advocate any upcoming fitness professional to dabble in a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I, I do think it's much, much like it's, you know, um, impressed upon us to have a, a diverse portfolio if you are in the stock market. Um, it's, it's certainly uh, apropos to be diverse in the fitness industry too. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent agree. And that's why we really advocate to like our fit pro students, like, man, you got to have the, the hybrid training model of in-person and online just to yeah. have those, two, those, that dual income stream and you never know what's going to happen. And right? I would say, you know, being, being, I'm a little bit old school. Uh, I would say you need to be a good in-person coach first. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you guys stress that like, yeah. cause again, I, 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 I have to, I know there are many professionals struggling now because now they're starting to learn that, oh man, this online thing is actually pretty hard. I've always told people that do, having an online business and coaching people online is way more laborious than, than doing it in person. Because I mean, if you don't have your systems in place as far as like how you're collecting money, how right. you're delivering your programs, how are you troubleshooting your programs? How are you giving, how are you telling them what the exercises are? Um, you know, it, it, it can be a, it can be a crapshoot. So, um, I know many people are, are learning that the hard way right now, unfortunately, yeah. but, but again, I think after all this subsides and we kind of sort of get back to normal, I think more and more are going to realize that it's nice to have your, again, to use the same analogy, have your, your toes in several puddles or ponds. Yeah. I are you a fitness professional looking to create more income impact influence and independence? If so, we actually just dropped our new book, rise of the fit pros so you guys can be on your way to doing all those things and you can sit there and build your hyper training model so if you're interested in getting your copy make sure to click the book or the link right here and you guys can grab it other than that make sure to enjoy the rest of the show yeah i agree so i want to switch gears here in this question so let's say hypothetically tony that like your, your business got completely wiped out by this pandemic um like what would you advocate to the listener to give them some hope and confidence like how would you start from scratch again and build back up Oh man, that's a, that's a, that's a loaded one right there. <laughs> this guy, man, uh, intense question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, it's, it's going to happen. I mean, I, I know there are, I will say, you know, I feel like the smaller gyms might be in a better situation here. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I thankfully, and I say this just selfishly myself, like I, I'm a one person LLC. Uh, I have a small studio here in Boston. I have coaches that sublease under me that run their own businesses under them. They're not employees of mine, but they do run their own businesses under me. And so when I'm not there, they're using the same space. So I do think smaller gyms that don't have a lot of employees, or maybe they're doing independent contractors or they have 10, or they just have 1099 employees or whatever, uh, they're, they're probably going to be in a better situation than the larger, you know, massive gyms and, and uh, small studios. As far as starting over from scratch, I do think, if you've taken it upon yourself to serve your clients, uh, you know, I know when this, when this all first went, was starting to go down, um, the first thing I did wasn't to jump on Instagram and start putting up a million and one different at home free body weight workouts. I mean, yes, I, I've dabbled in it. I said, Oh, here's some cool things you can do with a band. Here's some mm -hmm. cool things you can do. Of course. I think that's fine. But my first, my first Avenue and my, the first thing I did was to, contact every one of my clients and say, how can I, how can I help you? What, what, how can I serve you here? What can I do to help? Not necessarily to say, Hey, uh, you, are you going to sign up for virtual training? 
that was not my first question. It was like, how can I help you? What, what equipment do you have that I can, I can, I can, we can refresh your program or tweak your program that you can do at home. Um, and then, yeah, if you want to do some virtual training, let's do that. Um, I do think the bulk of my clients are going to come back, uh, you know, for the, for the trainers who are, who, who are working in commercial gyms or maybe, um, or they're at larger. I, I just think you, 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 I would impress upon them to serve their clients. Um, and I think if they're doing that and they're just taking, you know, sending a text, it doesn't have to be these elaborate emails or text messages. Like, hey, how are you? Uh, how are you holding up? It could be as simple as that. I do think they're going to set themselves up for uh, a greater return once things uh, settle down with the, with the pandemic and everything going on. Yeah, hundred percent, man. I, I really agree with the, what you said about like, just like serving your clients, the ones you're working with now. And I just want to elaborate on that because it's mm -hmm. so true. I mean, that's what we, you know, emphasize to our fit pro students. That's what we used to do with all of our clients. And we coach is just like, take care of the people that are, you know, that are paying you right now. You know, it's like, yeah. how can you better yeah. their situation? How can you, you know, make the experience better, even though it's just online or there's like a crisis, you know? So I, mean, I, I love I, that. I've been sending a weekly email. I mean, I have, I have 40 in-person clients that I train here in Boston. Uh, I've been sending a weekly email that says, hey, here's some, like this, this week's email, for example, was just me saying, you know, I started, I, I even said on the video, I started Ozark, it's amazing. Like if you haven't watched really it, like start it. Like uh, I, I do think even outside of the realm of training, they, they, want, to, they want some humanization. Yeah. Uh, you know, just like talking about, hey, I, I said like, oh my God, like, this podcast is amazing. You should check it out if you haven't already. And then I was like, okay, here's some, here's some, here's four, you know, alternative squat variations you can do with a band or a kettlebell at home, just to give them a little bit of like ideas of what they could be doing on their own. You know, just the weekly check-in. I mean, they've been loving it. I mean, they write back like, oh, it's so good to hear from you. You know, blah blah blah. And, and so, um, yeah, I think that you don't overthink it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, ser serve your clients, and I, I think you you should be okay. Like, I mean, you know, do I think there's going to be this massive influx of people back to gyms right away? No, you no. Know? Yeah. Uh, there's definitely going to be a, a trickle effect, and there's definitely. I mean, I know I'm going to have to change my model in the sense of like, okay, I, I sometimes I'm training three, four, five people at a time. Mm -hmm. I'm probably only going to limit it to two, um, unfortunately, and then hopefully maybe it will get back to normal, but. Um, yeah, sir, don't overthink it. Just serve your clients. Yeah. Uh, you know, keep them, keep them in, keep them in the loop and just let them know you're thinking about them. And they're, they're probably going to return the favor and come back at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Agree, man. Mm -hmm. So kind of come into like, you know, the conclusion of this, uh, interview, Tony, I've been asking a lot of just like, uh, different guests, like kind of like, what are the, what do you think is like the big message, you know, behind this whole, you know, pandemic going on? Maybe it's like from the universe. I mean, maybe it's a huge learning lesson for society. I mean, I'm just yeah. interested to know. It's, uh, you know, I, I, as we were talking before we went live, like I, I, I'm married to a psychologist. Uh, so that's been very helpful. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, I will, I will, I will reiterate what she always says is, is it's okay to feel your feelings. Like, I don't, I don't think this is a time to, to like marinate ourselves in all this bravado and tough guyness. And, you know, I, I think it's completely fine to, 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 if you're frustrated to say you're frustrated, if you're struggling to say you're struggling, if you're sad to say you're sad, uh, feel your feelings. Um, and I, 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 and I, I do think that there's a lot of um, humanization of this. Like I, people, I mean, yes, if you go to, like my wife went to, to, to Costco this morning and she said it was a shit show. And, like people, people are very like, just very kind of quick to be mean. And, and I get that. But, but as a whole, I do think, you know, people are, are going to learn or kind of get this sense of like, oh, it, it's, it actually, being around other people is actually quite nice. And like have, being able to hug someone or, you know, be close to your family or whatever. I mean, as cheesy as it sounds, I think there's going to be an element of, of uh, return to niceness, even if it's only for like a two week window after all this is done. Because <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be one of those things where it's like, everyone's going to be nice to each other when oh, we can, we can go out to eat again. And, and then it, like, fast forward 30 days, it just goes, just goes back to normal. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, yeah. here we go. Um, <laughs> so I do think there's going to be a nice little like, kumbaya moment at the end of all this where we're going to be like i'll oh, give you like to give each other high fives or yeah. like air, or at least fist, air fist bumps or something <laughs> yeah um so yeah that that's kind of how i i think what's going to happen cool cool well tony i mean uh thanks for this man it's been really really awesome is there anything we can support you with or the listeners uh, and where can we connect with you oh i mean uh 
my home base is tonygenicor.com. So that's articles, podcasts, everything. Every, every, <laughs> that, that's home base, uh, social media. So if people want more of me, they can just go there. Awesome, man. We'll have that all linked up in the show notes. So Tony, thank you so much for your time and just being authentic and real and just, just giving back in this manner, man. We really appreciate it. I try. Thank you. Yeah, no, you you, you did good. And glad glad you guys are all safe and just doing well too. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. All right, guys, until next time. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video and another episode on pro tips on living a dynamic lifestyle. We truly appreciate it. Hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you're interested in getting more value like this from these pro tips, make sure to subscribe above. We're going to be dropping these daily. Also, if you are a fitness professional and you're looking to create more income, impact, influence, and independence, we just dropped our new book, Rise of the Fit Bros. You guys can do all of that. And you can also start building your hyper training model in person and online training. So make sure to click the link or the book right here to grab your guys' copy and we'll send it over to you. Other than that, we're out. Talk to you soon.